quick survey question. Uh, how many of you are users on TikTok? And we've had some people talk about TikTok before. I'm just curious to know how many people use that platform. Play, you win. Sherry and John here with a game that was suggested by Max Lab. We've got doom, 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 Battle of the Holiday Icons. We've got the Easter Bunny versus Jolly Saint Nick. Yep, Absolutely. it's Santa versus the Easter Bunny. We're going to see who truly is boom, 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 King of the Holidays. I am rooting for the Easter Bunny. I am going to collect as many Easter eggs as I can. John is going after Christmas presents. Now, on the back pusher shelf, there's Warren, who is our Easter Bunny, and Santa. Mr. Claus himself. Mr. Claus himself. When either one of those tokens falls out, that's it. We tally up who has, and I mean falls out as an in the loot can. We will tally up who has the most eggs versus who has the most presents. Now, if I managed to get one of John's presents out during my turn. Well, ha ha, he doesn't get credit for it, but I have to give him all the coins in my that are still in my hand that I was waiting to Sounds play. Sounds appropriate. And vice versa. You gotta pay me up. Okay, so here we go. So wait, you're you're playing. I'm playing five dollars. I am the Easter Bunny. I'm team, team Easter Bunny. Now I appreciate Santa's wardrobe in, in April, you know. He wears the same thing all season long. I wonder. Right. I imagine he goes swimming in the Santa suit as well. Well, our son Mac wears winter coats in the house all year long. In the house, winter coat. I don't know. Okay, your turn, John. Well, it's my turn. I do not want to stack any quarters. I want every quarter to push. Let's see if I can avoid stacking. I think if I can avoid stacking, let's, I can get my push, yellow chip down. Let's push the wall all the way to the front. Let's do it. Let's do it. Because maybe they'll it just... It might be possible. Because they could all just fall, boom, into the coins, into the uh, loot chute, and it would be cool. It would just, be very cool. I just want to see that happen for one time in my life. Sounds like an interesting strategy. I don't think that's possible with the wall, though. Well, I don't know. It's built on those rectangular chips, so it's going to move differently. All right, so I'm trying to get that uh -oh. yellow chip down, and boom, the wall even up. See, I bring you gifts. <laughs> Look at me evening out the wall with a very slow push, because I don't want my quarters to stack. Your turn. Now, we all do know that Easter is, of course, the better of the two holidays. Um, is it? Yeah, no contest. So, well, you was, I don't understand why you're playing the Easter Bunny, which you claim doesn't exist, that you've known since a child. Well, just because I'm not into the Easter Bunny doesn't mean I'm not into Easter, because I'm very much into spring. I like seeing the sun coming up in the morning, not having to go wherever I'm going in the morning in the dark, seeing buds on the trees and flowers, these crocuses popping up. Your turn, John. All right, my turn. You know, springtime is my thing, and the holiday kind of jives with the whole springtime vibe. And playing a ukulele out on the patio. Oh, yeah. Another push on the right. Oh, I oh, guess I better even left, it out. Oh, this doesn't seem like it's gonna work in my favor. Okay. And a push on the left. Nice. Okay, now we just have the two. You can go way now. The two, the two peace tokens, the now Easter Bunny and that Santa. That wall has moved significantly forward. And it's just standing there, even Steven. Do you prefer playing your ukulele in the sun or in the shade? That depends. If it's early in the morning and it's chilly outside, I like to sit in the sun. If it's the middle of the afternoon and it is hot out, whoa, give me some shade, baby. 
Gosh, my neighbors prefer that I play my ukulele in the house. It's your turn, John. You might think a ukulele is a quiet instrument in the hands of an artiste. It can be quite voluminous. I have a hand that's kind of, it's kind of numb. And so when I hit those strings, if I don't hit the strings hard, if I try to play gently, I miss the ukulele. I miss. I mean, I pull it down here. And so I have to hit kind of hard. And All the way across. Oh, we're going to have to play the far left and far right. The towers are getting left behind. I admit that I'm loud. What's wrong with that? When you're passionate about something, you should do it all in. You should. Whether the neighbors like it or not. Now, you're, you do the neighbors a courtesy, though. You, you typically don't play your super loud ukulele. No. You have one that's really loud. I do. It's made out of metal. Yeah, and it's super loud. Your turn. But I am getting a banjo. Laylee, a banjo Laylee. She keeps calling it a banjo. It's a banjo Laylee. It's going to be a banjo. It's a baby banjo. I'm getting a baby banjo. A baby, a baby banjo. A BB. Yes. Oh, no. Santa is. Oh, and there went. Oh, no. Santa is. Oh, and there went everything. Santa's on the fast track. Wow. Great rule change at the last minute. <laughs> Way to go, Max Lab. This game's going to end fast. By the way, folks, if you are not currently a subscriber, you really should consider doing that. It doesn't cost you anything. And right now, folks like Max Lab, who suggested this game, are watching us record this game on a live stream. And. I had the end of my turn gotten out and a yellow Easter egg. Oh. So I didn't have to give you my unfortunately. Well. That did not count in your favor though. Oh well. Well make sure you don't put that with my I didn't. stuff. You know we could amend the rules and then Here comes a push. After both pieces fall out, then the game is over. Uh on account of we've got a problem where they're yes. both fast they're both fast They're both fast tracking. They're both. Things that go on the side, like you'll see, here's Warren the Easter Bunny. And Santa, he's I can't really show you. Shoot. He's over here. I'm going to start playing now, while you're doing The talk. problem is, in a coin pusher, things that go to the sides just push. They go out super fast. That's where everything wants to go. They want to go to the sides and out. So this will be a speedy game. Oh, Warren is going for it. He is. And all the presents are scared oh, in the middle. Mystery bag. bag. You need to explain to folks what in the world is the mystery bag. 25 coin pusher bucks. There we go. And a mystery bag. Folks, this mystery bag is given away every Sunday on our live stream. We give away six mystery bags, one for each video during the week. If you want to win one of our mystery bags, listen for today's mystery bag question. The towers are falling. Listen for today's mystery bag question. The towers are falling. Last at the end of the video, you'll have 24 hours from the, when the video releases to comment with your answer on YouTube to the mystery bag question. I got one. If you comment with an answer, you're entered in the drawing on our Sunday live stream. Okay, down there in the loot can, I got What'd you an get? egg. Oh, Sherry got one of the eggs. Empty it out all the way to make sure that I can eat it. Sherry's in the lead. I got an egg. Booyah. All right, my turn, and I am... There are three presents on the right along with Santa. So I'm playing center-ish into the right. Right now, Santa's not doing a good job collecting his presents. He's there, got one Easter egg, though, but that doesn't do him a darn bit of good. There are quarters on both Warren and Santa. 
which will make them move even faster. Most likely, oh no, and all the presents are sliding on the scalloped corners. Oh dear. You can see all the Easter eggs are in the window. There's that silver strike. So if you it's a nice push. If you, if you had a choice between decorating Easter eggs, yes, or hunting hidden Easter eggs, hunting, 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 definitely hunting. You like you like finding hidden things? Yes. Don't you? Now, what if it was a game where the Easter eggs were hidden and there were clues you had to decipher to find the hidden Easter eggs? You mean if I had to read directions? You mean would I enjoy reading directions? It's am interesting I, that am you... I TikTok George the monkey? That monkey loves to read directions. I, not so much. I never read the instructions. That's why I generally make furniture and make a screw come popping out the side you of it. You must not like the game of Clue. I'm okay with the game of Clue. Well, that's reading directions. 25 point pusher box. Who done it? Hmm. So you like hunting for prizes with no directions? Yes. You must love metal detecting. I do love metal detecting. It is awesome. Your turn. And treasure hunting in general? Yes. Absolutely. We have a slightly defunct website, treasurejar.com. Just a little defunct. Oh, big push. It's all about us treasure hunting. With no metal detector, with no clues, no instruction manual, just finding stuff and declaring it treasure. If a five-year-old would stick it in their pocket, it's treasure, unless it's worms. Yes. Never collected worms. That's a story. That's a story. What? I was doing laundry and I was, you know, I was doing the diligent thing to do. I was emptying out pockets and it turned out our daughter had filled her pockets with worms. And then I oh, stopped emptying people's coin pockets. Why we had the great crayon incident of 2005. Was Your it just turn. one crayon incident, or did no. we have we've had pen incidents and crayon incidents? Oh, I'm talking about the crayon incident when crayon hit, made it all the way to the dryer and then melted like all over and the inside all of the dryer. Over the dryer. Yes. yes, that one. Remember that incident? I do remember that. that I believe it was 2005. That was bad. That was bad. It made me almost consider emptying people's pockets again. But I was so traumatized by the little worm thing. I thought I could get that present right here and I couldn't. Sherry, your turn. Okay. I'm gonna adjust the camera slightly because there's more action going on at the edge. Yes. There we go. Wow, you really Goes with the territory. Mm. I have this much money left. So let's see. She has this dollar, many. <laughs> this many. I have this, this many. many. I have a dollar seventy-five, and I want to see if I can knock that present down. I think I'm just setting John up. Four and three. This many. Don't make fun of me, John. I'm not. You're adorable and cute. Totally I'm fun. not. I find you adorable. I always, she has set, she had seven quarters and she's acting seven. Yes? Hold on. Oh! Okay, guess what, John? Look, look at, John gets this many. Sweet. Why look am I getting sweet? those? Because I knocked your present down. No, it did not yes, come I down. Did. It oh, did not fall you down. You will not believe if I can see it. It's stuck in the chute. <laughs> if you can see it, it is so stuck, so crazily. It is not 
possible. It is like someone has gone matrix on the on the prize chute, and I don't know how that's stuck there. What is stuck it stuck on? Right here what is in it the slot. Stuck on. It's actually between the wall of the coin pusher and, the and <laughs> big stupid chip. Big big chip. That's not fair. That's not fair. Aww. If you get oh, stuck, man. you're out of luck. My turn. That's the number one rule of coin pushers. If it's stuck, you're out of luck. Go ahead, John. That means I get a chance of winning that prize, but oh, it's so stuck, it's probably it's not going to so get dislodged. Stuck. And we learned yesterday. Unless I get this just silver strike out. Don't stick your hand up. This shoe of, of the any arcade games. It's a really, really bad, bad thing to do. That's a really valuable lesson, Sherry. <laughs> Here to demonstrate why that's an important lesson. Oh, the silver strike fell and it did not dislodge my piece. How is that even possible that it didn't dislodge it? I don't know. What the heck? I'm going to go ahead and finish playing my turn. And I'm going to check. Don't you stick your hand up there. It's not fair. Oh, I got to push. Oh, it dislodged it on its own. Yes. I got to push. Oh, it dislodged it on its own. Yes. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. I got my present. Thank you very much. We are now tied. I got a thousand coin pusher bucks to add to my collection. Oh, yeah. And a silver strike. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Your turn. We should play a game where we see who can get the most dollar value coin pusher chips out. That has been suggested countless times. And I agree with it. How can we never get to do that? I don't know. Because <laughs> I think because the artwork is just so much fun. I'm sorry. Mm. I can't get any pushes. Come on. Gap fillers. Thank you. I got a present. Got a present. Do 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 do. I'm not. I'm not in last place anymore. This is great. Comes a push. Line. So I've got an Easter egg right there on the end. You can watch it. Now, watch here. So see what happens. Oh! So close. This many left. This many. Oh, I've got to get that. Folks, no, so if you want to know what I'm doing, do. I am waving to our live streamers over there. Hi, live streamers. Okay. Did you explain about WePlayYouWin.com? I did not. Hey. If you didn't catch his rules to how to win that mystery bag that came out earlier, check out WePlayYouWin.com. That's also an awesome place to find out about how you can suggest games to us. Like this one that MaxLab suggested. Hey, MaxLab, how do I get that egg off the end, huh? <laughs> He'll John's, tell you. John's going to get it. He's going to say, shake the machine. Which is illegal. Well, here's the Your thing. Turn. If I get that egg off Your the turn. edge, I get to give you my entire hand. Yeah. But if I have any left. Nope. I don't think that one on the edge is going to go anywhere, though. Oh, when it just rolled backwards. in. So I'm playing hard right. Hmm. Uh -oh. Big push. Uh -huh. Holy Christmas. Hey, yeah, it is Jiminy Christmas, though this is Santa Claus. Santa Claus, not Jiminy Santa. Okay, my turn. Boom, boom, boom. I want that egg to drop. So, you know, if we had a cricket, we could have a Jiminy Christmas at cricket time. True. That would be fun. Can you believe we've only got six more months until Halloween? That egg. I want you to notice this. See this egg? Now Turn just watch it. Can. Just watch it. Just You're not um, getting any pushes there. I'm not. What's going on? I don't know. This is my very last quarter. The little coin pusher that wouldn't push. Hold on. Hi, Sherry. Oh, Hold look, on. she got Hold one. On. Gap filler. Your turn, John. Yeah. Let's see, my I'm turn. Trying to get that egg for like Let's see. Five turns. Okay, oh that's God. four quarters. Do I get a push? Oh, I got a five quarter push. 
Oh no! Oh! I have to give her give all me my hair. Give me them all. Give me them. There you go. She okay. set me up, folks. Okay, go get that. Get that egg. Wow. Okay. I kept the egg from her. Santa gets the golden egg. I guess it's going to get donated to Good Girl. Santa don't need no golden eggs. Hmm. He does not. Ooh. Oh, that was a big drop. Okay, you'll get I bet you're getting pushed here. There you go. Holy smokes, that's a lot of ammo. I'm gonna try and stack them at this point. All right, Sherry, so what did, what crazy sandwiches did you make today? <gasps> today? Okay. Everybody, you may not guess this, but I'm a crunchy peanut butter person. I'm definitely not a smooth peanut butter person. Well, we've got, not sponsored, Skippy Super Crunch. My turn. Extra crunchy, super crunch peanut butter. And I looked at it and I thought, this is good, but it's not good enough. So I came up with the nuclear option crunchy peanut butter. Okay, you start out, you take your super extra crunchy Big push. peanut butter, uh, and you spread it on the bread, just like you're just making an everyday pedestrian type sandwich. And then you take it to the next level. You take a bunch of actual peanuts, not in the shell, that's just crunchy butter. Say just a regular, like a bag of salt and peanuts, and you put them on top of there. Little and push. And then... Now your turn. Then you make the rest of your sandwich. I'm a peanut butter and jelly person. He's a peanut butter and honey person. Peanut yes, butter and honey for the win. Well, I'll tell you, once you've had the nuclear option crunchy peanut butter, you will laugh at mere store varieties of crunchy peanut butter. Ha, they call themselves crunchy. I just wanted to say peanut butter jelly time. And for jelly, I've got my, from Christmas time, I've been saving it since Christmas. I got a jar of lingonberry jelly, fancy, which is my favorite. Jelly. And I was saving it because I never get it. And I used it. Oh my goodness. That was awesome. Your turn, John. All right. Here's where you're gonna pull it ahead. Can I pull it ahead? Or can you just set me up big time? Cause look, there's Santa right there. It's taking long enough. We could declare original rules, you know. We didn't necessarily have to amend the rules. We got some good length going on. It's been a pretty good game. But there's still more to do. We're not. You can't unamend the rules. <laughs> oh no, it looks like something might happen that makes me not win. We'd better reamend the rules. No, 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 no. You're right. We're not Congress, but I'm fine. Bum, bum, bum. All right, your turn. Okay. All right, I'm playing over on the left. I want to move Warren up a little bit. out that loot can. Now, if you're wondering why our Easter Bunny is named Warren, Google it. <laughs> now, hares live in a Warren. I don't know if rabbits necessarily live in a Warren. 25 but point push box. Originally, our Easter Bunny one was created to be used in the tortoise and the hare race. So he kind of is a hare. Okay, your turn. My turn. Here I go. Off to the races. I thought you were going to go here. I go again. No. Oh. See, now, now Sherry left me a bunch of gaps to fill, so. Yep. I've got to slow the roll here and fill those gaps. I can get some pushes. Mm. All right. I want my presents. I really do. I want those presents and... Oh, oh no. Wow. Well, I might get Sherry's extra hand here in just a second. And uh, go for it, girl. Oh, Ooh, some quarters just fell off that left-hand tower out of play. 
You know, we should have put some bonus tokens on those two big towers on the side because they could have fallen in play. You know, things happen. Those towers are left over from yesterday's game. Now, oh, folks no. watching this video won't know what yesterday's game was. I'm just setting him up. They might look at yesterday's game and say, how is that possible? We well, filmed it that. We, the game we recorded. Oh, Sherry, stop. Give me your quarters. You've got a present. This is how many you get. Oh, man. All two of them. Uh, Give me a present. There's your present you stole from okay. Santa. You stole their present from Santa. You're not supposed to steal presents from Santa. Oh, I'm on a naughty list. You're gonna be stealing those presents from Santa. I don't think Santa minds you st anybody stealing something from the Easter Bunny, but stealing presents from Santa? Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, you're saying that stealing from the Easter Bunny has Santa's not of approval? <laughs> well, he's already stolen one of the Easter eggs tonight, so it must sure. he must overlook that. Oh, maybe he likes egg salad. You know, there could be some kind of weird competition between the holidays going I on. Well, so, yeah, I mean... I, yes. I think this is an insight into the world of uh, holiday figures. What would you say? What could be? Is holiday figures the right word? I don't know. I said holiday icons. Oh, that is a better... Better use of English, yes. Oh, gosh. Those. Mm -hmm. Santa's getting ready to tumble on the right. Your turn. Yeah, but remember, we decided that both of them have to fall out yep. before we tally up. I'm going to dump a bunch of quarters here on the left. This bounty chip here on the right is kind of blocking things. So if you push opposite, sometimes that'll rearrange the quarters in the coin pusher. And uh, keep you better luck. be as tall as you. Well, here. Oh, no, I'll, I'll play at this level. No, How's that? No, you're saying I'm short. Here, I was saying that you're tall and you're saying I'm short. I'm not. I'm actually shorter than you right now. Okay, that's your push. Yes. It's you. Win it! Okay. I'm going to come over the right hand side for a bit. Because I'm not getting much action on the ground. And another oh. push. Do I get a push? I do get a push. Oh, that John present, present said, let's move it. I'm going to do a rapid fire all the way across. Thank you very much. Here we go. So we're tied at one? We are tied at one, yes. Because opponent's pieces do not count Ooh, you got in our moves. favor. I do, but it doesn't count for winning the game. No, but it's fun. It's fun to get moved. All right, babe, wow. your turn. 25 coin pusher box. Come on, come on, come on. Give me some pushes. And where was the... You've hidden Easter egg many, many years. For many, yes. many, many years. What is the craziest place you can remember hiding one egg? Any, any fond memories of hiding an egg in a really stinky place? I don't know, but things like if I was hiding a yellow Easter egg, I'd hide it on the yellow swing of the swing set. Or if it was a green egg, it was going in the grass. If it was a something like a purpley egg, I'd put it next to the base of a tree so it kind of blend in with the bark. Just like that. I did try to make it tricky to find it because, you know, you've got like a dozen, two dozen eggs to play around with. You want it to take more than two minutes. Because of course your kids will running out like a maniac and just start grabbing everything as fast as possible. 
throw them in the basket. Crap. That's sad. Big sound. push. Oh, oh, did you see that? No, he didn't. That present slid like a whole inch back from the edge. Oh my gosh, it did. That was right on the edgy edge. Oh no. That's crazy. Clearing out that loop, Dan. There's an egg and a present that are stacked on top of each other. If they both fall out simultaneously, how do we score it? Well, you get to keep you get to keep the piece that fell out in your turn, of course, but then you also have the penalty. So. Okay. Let's see if we can move that silver strike. Nope. Your turn, John. All right. Of course, we've got Santa on the left. I mean, on the on the that yeah, Santa on the right. right. Thank you very, very much. And then we've got Warren on the left, and Warren's right here behind that silver strike. And these pieces are just floating here in no man's land. This is where you do not want pieces in the coin pusher. And there's actually a present buried underneath this. Oh, we just got a golden doubloon. Off that tower on the right. Kind of looks like chocolate money. It does. Yeah. I love these side towers, Sherry. <laughs> we need to incorporate them. Thing. We have to start incorporating things like that. Well, we I could think. stick flags in them. I, I think we need to have like bonus <gasps> pieces. There needs I to be thought something of something changes. awesome I can do there. I'm not going to talk about it. Okay. But I just thought of something I can do. Remind me to tell you about something that's just a fan idea. Sounds like a plan. Ooh, silver strike down, silver strike got down. Got silver strike. That's my last quarter. Do I get anything? Ooh, I got right. that doubloon completely on. You need to write an idea down so we don't forget it. All right, that bunny is getting closer on the left. I'm going to play up the middle. You know what, I'm gonna play hard right. I can get Santa out, and then maybe I can tease over this piece here. But I think Warren's gonna jump out real soon. Sherry's writing down her top secret idea right now as we speak. Your turn. This is... Book the notebook of, of planning. Notebook of planning. There is that silver strike. Where all my circus, circus. top secret chocolate making secrets are. Oh no, dinosaurs. I mean, I mean quarter structure building recipes. Ooh, Santa's down. Ha ah, ha ha! Santa's out. Santa's now been kidnapped by warm Easter Bunny. But so. nothing is supposed to happen except just for fifty percent done. Right. That's right. Oh boy, oh boy. And gap for John's turn. Okay, I'm gonna keep playing hard right. So and Christmas, Christmas is not my favorite holiday. It's favorite holiday. Not Christmas. Are you a Halloween guy? Not Halloween. Fourth of July. I do like throwing a big party at 4th of July. So it could be. It's a toss up between Thanksgiving and 4th of July. Wait a minute, Mr. I don't like parties. Now suddenly he likes throwing a party. It's Look a party that. that does not require social interaction. You sit around looking at fireworks. It's great. It's true. It's the introvert's favorite party. Ooh, I just made one skitter across the bushes. You're working. Oh man, I am not going to be able to work the pieces. Your turn! Warren is, the game is still tied. This game is made in, in a tie tonight. This may be our second tie. Let me get the arm game. wrestle. <laughs> oh dear. No, I, ties are ties. Ties are ties. This isn't like baseball where you have to go to push the game. Yeah, there's no crying in baseball either. That's a great movie. There's no crying in the coin 
There could be. I could make you cry. You could. Okay. I cry and teardrop. Well, that's not right. Mm. Oh, that's a big push. No, I'm the crier. I'll cry. Because you know what? You, you cry when you laugh. Well, if you've got an emotion going on, you should go with it. Oh, my heavens. Oh, dear. Look at that. Do I need to continue? Pause for a second. Am I pausing the machine? No, you're just pausing you for the moment. I'm paused. Hold on. Looks like somebody's not paying attention to their phone storage. It was actually good. Something happened. Stay tuned. recording another video. <laughs> Let's see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I am in the process at the moment. I will be deleting something here in a moment. Do, 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 do. That's not going to work. So, folks, in the live stream, if you're wondering what's going on, I ran out of space on my phone. Sherry caught it just in time. Well, look, at the loot cam also ran out of space. It did not. Did you get scared? Though, you know, that would be quite funny if you just started going. <laughs> they just all it. started running out of storage. Yes, yeah, so everything started running out of space. I'm going to delete four videos. Hopefully, we've offloaded them all. Someone's going to be in some trouble. 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 Oh, trouble. Set me free. I am looking for the thing. There it is. Everything's oh. falling now. Come on. We're almost Just a moment. done. I it's know. It's super late. Oh, all right. Here we go. Setting this back up. I have up. so many different kinds of medicine in me right now. I'm punching. We're gonna do a clap sync here in just a second to resync all this stuff. Clap your hands. And the video, person editing this at the end is gonna go, what the hang? All right, here we go, clap sync. Mac, I'm clap syncing. Hopefully you're getting this. This is for you, Mac. Go. Okay. We're back, camera video. We ran out of storage on the face cam. Mm. That's what happens when you use like a really old phone for your face cam. It's got no space. And push. And right at the end too. Your turn, John. I sense a huge tie going on. I'm playing right. There's no chance of me. There's no hidden pieces over There's here. There's nothing over this. Well, there is. I have a piece underneath this yellow egg here. Yeah. It's on the fast track layer, but I don't have enough time. Santa Claus abducted the Easter Bunny, and the Easter Bunny abducted Santa Claus somehow. We have here Santa and Warren, and guess what? That means the game is over, but as far as scoring is concerned, guess what? I ended up with a one. One beautiful golden Easter egg, and John ended up with... I ended up with... Two golden Easter eggs, which don't that count for me, count. and a present because I was a so course Santa Claus. So we have one and one. He's trying to confuse you because he's mean like that. Ultimately, I the score not. is: I had one egg, he had, he one, had present. one present. It's a tie. It's a tie. So we both win. Awesome sauce. Okay. Thanks for sticking around. That was an interesting one, wasn't it? Now, John, what was our mystery bag question? So our mystery bag question today. Brought to you by our viewers in the live stream. Was where were you? What were you doing this time last year? What? How did you celebrate Easter or springtime or Passover or your holiday that you celebrate this time of year? What were you doing? Think back. This is 2021. What were you doing? And Love April 4th, 2020, 2020, or Easter April 2020. Had your world already turned topsy-turvy at that point? Most of ours did. Or were you still in that limbo just before it all hit the fan? Limbo! So, <laughs> just, just comment within 24 hours of this video going live on YouTube, and you'll be entered in our the, the drawing for today's mystery bag, and hope you win. So thanks for spending time with us. 
be safe, be healthy, and we will see you next time. Bye.